Hey everybody, Farmer Taz here. So today I'm going to show you how to get your logo on new equipment in Farming Simulator 22. So to start off, we're going to take the mod we want to mod or piece of equipment. You can take the base game equipment and utilize that as well. We want to unzip it. That's what this is. So we've extracted it. Go in there. Now the thing to realize is whatever image or logo you want to put on, try to make sure it's transparent. You can use GIMP, which is a free software for it, or you can use Photoshop. I believe people have mentioned PaintNet, but I would just stick to probably GIMP as it's more transferable. Uh, you want to have your texture folder in with the mod. Okay. So here we have two just for now, but there has to be that image in that mod folder. If you're taking it from your desktop, it will not work. You'll end up with probably just a blank canvas and see it outlined on the mod. So then what you're gonna do, go to your distinction, triple hopper right there. It's IE3D, or sorry, I3D format. You will then select that like so. We're gonna use Giants 9. For FS22, to do some shader changes. So when you're in here now, you want to make sure you have the material editing tab available, which is located right here. So you have that going, that's open. If you do not, go up to Windows, Material Editing, click that, that window will open. So kind of just like this. If I was to remove that, going up, material editing, bam, there it is. All right, so first thing, we want to zoom in where we want it. And this can be done with rolling your mouse, uh, holding right alt on the keyboard, using the right side of the mouse. You can move it forward and out by holding down alt with the right side of the mouse. While also holding Alt, you can use the left side to position and turn. Just to give you a couple basics for some people who may not be used to this. But we're going to go up to Create Primitives, select Plane. There's the plane. We're going to go back over to the Material side. The Albedo map. You're going to click there. Go up. And we've been working on some stuff. So we go in here. Let's go FS22 Minecraft. So there's our extracted folder wherever you save it. Again, make sure the textures are not coming from the desktop, but from inside the mod folder. So here we go, textures. And we'll select it. We'll open it. It's already been adjusted for me. You'll probably get a warning like this and it looks like it all uh, so there's the logo they're already preset so they come in either way and then we'll hit okay all right so you have this little sphere different colored parts to it so the red arrow is going to pull it out we're going to highlight the green arrow, bring it up, and we want to bring this slightly forward and tilt forward. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the blue like so, and we want to turn it so green. And what I like to do is try to set it to the target point where you want to place your logo so you see right there starting to fall into the trailer so we're going to tilt it back that way see how the green box that outlined the logo is kind of disappearing and now it's popping back up on top so that's pretty close so now what we do is come forward just slightly and there you go so that's the first part obviously it still looks semi Crooked. So we can grab this green 
spear part and turn it there. All right, so now you want a bigger logo, right? You can stretch it inside Giants Editor, like so. So if I want to go nine, five, three, see how it kind of cuts out? And then we'll raise it. Looks like we need to bring that forward a little bit. So there we go. Uh, let's go down in front of it. So yeah, still quite crooked, but we can fix that just like so. All right, so for the most part, it looks set. And we can test this by slowly coming in and out. When you start to see it fade away, you'll probably have to play with this fine tune it. But that is essentially it. So now you have it again scale X, scale Y, scale Z. Adjust your size of the image and how it's portrayed in game. The other ones above it. That's just adjusting it and moving if you know the exact numbers you want to use. I just use the spear to place it and it seems to work pretty well. So now let's name this one left side logo. Let's hit copy. So we like the size of it, right? And we want to put one on the other side. So we'll hit duplicate. And then we're just going to push that spear that we created through and then we're going to come to this side and we'll back out a little bit so we'll grab the green arrow and you're probably not going to see it so what you got to do is you actually got to spin it and there it is We had it flipped and then you bring it in. You see how the shadow starts to cast behind it now. So that's part of the new FS22 shading they have going on. But we want to get it. So right there. Then we want to slightly turn and adjust. And like I said, that should be pretty close. You can come in here, look at it from that angle. So see, it's pretty flat to it. And we're going to call that one right side logo. Now, something I usually do, I have it open already up here in the tree, the visuals. You have all that. We're going to select right side, left side. We're going to cut them. Go to visuals and hit paste. Now what you'll do is you go up here, you'll hit save. So we've saved it. And then we'll go into game and we'll see how it comes out. So we'll see then. All right. So now you've done the Giants editor part. You want to select all, control A. Right click, you want to send to compress folder, you want to rezip it. So we're calling it the FS22 distinction triple hopper and modded. And we don't want that space in there. There you go, you have that. You're then going to Drag this over to your mod folder, cut it, paste it in your mod folder. Either way, move that zip folder now with the edits you've made in Giants Editor over, and that will then allow the mod to be used in game. So now let's hop into the game. All right, so we're in our game now. Our mod was put into the mod folder. So click in scroll down there's the triple hopper modded we'll start the game 
loads up pretty quick. Obviously, we don't have a lot of mods in. I think that'll change to be like FS19. But yeah, so we've done our adjustments. We've put our logos on the trailer now to see what it looks like in game. And a reminder that there is some different shaders in Farm Sim 22. So let's go down here. We'll head over to the trailer. Uh, we go all the way to the end. Load King, Triple Hopper modded. So there it is. All right. So we stretched it a little bit. And we can always adjust that if you get like GIMP. Uh, I'm not sure if paint.net allows you to do it. I've never really used that program. But Photoshop, GIMP are the two, GIMP being the cheaper one. So let's buy that. And head over to the store where it should be located. And run right over. And there it is. So again, the shading on it needs a little work, but that can be changed. There, like you said, looking at it, it's on. So that's how you add your logo. You see that one there in Farm Sim 22, very similar to Farm Sim 19. Like I said, the only thing I really notice is some of the shading and a little bit of the custom color stuff seems to be the change I've noticed. But other than that, I think for the most part, everybody's logos should be able to be thrown on if they're in a transparent form and make it pretty simple. Even though Giants Editor, as you saw, will do some conversions for you. But yeah, that's it. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, please consider hitting the like button. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and join the channel. Lots of fun stuff coming in the future. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.